It's season number five for the Lehigh Mountain Hawks under head coach Brett Reed, two years removed from a Patriot League title and, of course, an NCAA tournament appearance. And Brett, of course, the last two years has coached C.J. McCollum. And uh, I'm curious, Brett, how you've watched him evolve. Uh, what's impressed you most? We know that the talent is one thing, but what drives that young man, and how does he make his teammates better? Uh, how much of a pleasure is it every day in practice as well to coach him in games? Bob, it's an excellent question, and it's one that leads me back to the foundation that I think I have the privilege of coaching these young men, just as many of these other coaches already have echoed those sentiments. We have student athletes. They're wonderful young men. They excel in the classroom, and I think that's something to be celebrated. However, they're also very talented as basketball players, and I don't think those two things have to be mutually exclusive as well. We have the privilege and the opportunity not only to coach these young men, who demonstrate this type of academic aptitude and also character. But we also have the chance to coach some of the most talented players across the country in our Division I League of the Patriot League. And over the years that I've been here, we've seen so many talented players come through for each of these programs. Uh, we have tremendous coaches in this league that are very, very strong uh, as tacticians and also motivators and leaders. So really that's a privilege. And when I start to pare it down to, to CJ and his role and his influence, what a privilege it is to be able to coach him, to get to know him as a young man, because he is a young man that has really embraced the identity of our institution and also this league by valuing the education, by also valuing the basketball that he has in front of him and the opportunities. And it, it's hard to find areas of growth for him because he's such a talented player, but that's something that he strives for, that's something that we strive for as a coaching staff to continue to try to get him to the maximum of his potential. And fortunately, he's been able to do some terrific things on the basketball floor and also in the classroom. But there's always room for more. And I think his growth and his development over the course of this year will be telltale to some degree for our team as well. Because where we've had a, a youthful team, uh, essentially starting three sophomores and a freshman last year, we saw the ebb and flow of the season, and we saw our ups and downs, and you've already heard coaches talk about inconsistency. And I think CJ's growth as a leader, his growth as a consistent type of performer and player, will really be indicative of how our season goes this year because we were an up and down team, and now we're starting to get a little bit more focus with that consistency, and ultimately I think that will lead to hopefully positive results. Um, and we've already seen that so far in practice. We haven't been perfect by any means, but that consistency has started to come to the forefront, and that's something we have to strive for to win every day, and uh, every day in practice, every day in the weight room, everything in every avenue that we do. Um, you know, it won't come without challenges, especially when you start talking about the schedule. Um, I actually picked up one of these yesterday. They did a nice job of creating these little schedule cards, and uh, CJ, rightfully so, is is right on the cover. And on the back, I flipped it over, and I was hoping there was something wrong with the printer because for all of November and all of December, there's only three spots where it's in bold print. So I'm not sure if the printer ran out of ink or we just have a, a tremendous road ahead of us with a lot of road games. In fact, only having three home games in November and December is gonna present a significant challenge. Uh, having six on the road to begin with, for the season and ultimately uh, I think it's 12 of 15 on the road to start the year. How we respond to those challenges will really be indicative of the type of run that we can make in league play. And that's where that leadership and that focus is really important. But it's also important that younger players and, and individuals across the board really adopt that idea of consistency and leadership for themselves. And hopefully that grows w uh, beyond them because Ultimately, if you look at our senior class, our entire senior class, their combined career minutes is actually less than Gabe Knutson, who just finished his sophomore year individually. So you talk about those dynamics, it's going to require seniors who are a little less experienced to, to buy in and, and make sure that they espouse the messages and, and promote the culture that we want. And then it's going to take juniors like uh, C.J. McCollum and Gabe Knutson and so on and so forth to, to really continue to promote and cultivate that culture that we really want. 
So uh, I'm honored to be here. Obviously, I appreciate the interest that our league can generate from all of you who are here as well. I think it is uh, a, a great league that has the, the unique dynamics of really celebrating the academic uh, side of things that uh, I think we excel in and the statistics would, would uh, kind of support and also the quality of basketball and the quality of coaches in this league. Thank you.